What's happening guys, Gemma here and back again for another video. A very special video for you guys. Um, last night, some of you may know that I interviewed Masayuki Umura, lead designer of the Famicom and the NES. Um, and it was at the National Video Game Arcade in Nottingham. Now before you see the interview, there are three things that I have to tell you. Um, so first of all, I'm kind of still in awe. First of all, it was a shared interview. So when you watch the interview, you're going to hear two people interviewing Umera, myself and Paul from Retro Gamer Magazine. I just want to give a shout out to Retro Gamer Magazine as I feel it's the right thing to do. Everybody should know who they are by now, but they produce Retro Gamer monthly. Here's some examples of their awesome front covers in all, actually. And if you want to buy their magazine, the link will be in the description. Go and show them some love. They contribute a lot to our community and I'm an avid collector of their magazine myself. So thanks to Retro Gamer, um, we shared the interview. Uh, the second thing was, I'm going to show you the second half of the interview before the first. And the reason is this, the second half of the interview, um, I asked a lot more questions than I did in the first. And my questions weren't, weren't as technical, um, because I, I, I feel that we can find the technical stuff on the, on, on, on the internet. Um, and what I, what I wanted to document was the feeling behind why the NES was made, what it meant to him, um, you know, how many prototypes were out and how did he feel about it, you know. So my, I, I want to kind of get that message across, it's very important to me um, that I show that. And the third and final thing, um, obviously there's a translator there, um, the camera's pointed solely on Umera, so you'll probably hear three voices, mine, Paul and Aki, shout out to Aki for translating. Um, and we weren't allowed to ask any questions other than about the Famicom slash Nintendo Entertainment System. So here it is guys, this is the full interview. Um, my NES is signed, so there'll be a picture on screen right now, kind of blown away. Um, and also, I'm just going to show you, I took seven pages of notes when they did the seminar. So I'll be writing a very in-depth blog about the development of the NES, so the technical side will be covered in the blog. Without further ado, guys, here's the interview. Thank you very much for the support. Take care. I want to ask one again about the design. When the Famicom was released in the West, particularly America, it was redesigned. Oh, okay. Didn't the Famicom didn't need it then. What, what was your thoughts? Were you disappointed? Why are they changing it? <laughs> what, was, what was your thoughts? So it's on in this. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. No. <laughs> it wasn't disappointed. No, no, no. Not disappointed. Because after he released the Famicom in Japan, he found out a lot of issues. Oh, okay. And came back from the customers. But like? None. The controller was the one of the problem was uh, that there's a lot of defects of controllers. So that was the one that to be turned to the company. Wow. That's interesting. So even though, because it looked very different in the West, it was not as beautiful. Uh, not <laughs> as beautiful. So uh, were you, but you thought that was the right decision for the West? Yeah, you don't know about them. They're the titans. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. 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 The ex exterior design was done by Americans uh, for the okay, NES. Okay. 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 The, first, the, the first proposal came from uh, Nintendo America was much like the shapes uh, looking like more like Famicom. First, oh, really? at first, at first. Oh, yeah. 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 Just ask, between the, the NES and the Famicom, there were 62 million units sold, so that, that's a, clearly a big number, very impressive. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Ah, the fifth, like the fifth best selling <laughs> console of all yeah. time. This is all the console in the world. よく言う日本語で言えば初心ですね。初めて作ったための、え、というかな、作った人の気持ちがね、ま、日本人だけではなくて世界中の人に通じた。It's the first console he made, you know, that cartridge changeable console. So 
he always you know reminded him of like when he was thinking what what he was thinking about back then mm -hmm. as a like engineer who were first experiencing developing this game. So he feel like he wants to come back to that time and re remembering the yeah, past kind of moment. The nostalgia that you see, <laughs> that, that bubbly feeling that we get right. when we think about it. Like you're really ambitious and yeah, you know, a lot yeah, of visions right. in mind back then and he yes. would put all the visions so he remember all that and then wanted to Someone go back to that feeling okay. of the freshness yeah, of creating absolutely. this kind of yeah. so, the but the, this uh, pure But this pure heart or pure ambition was mm -hmm. completely different from how many units being sold. Yeah. So that has nothing to do with it. Why do you think the console, the Famicom, was so successful. What is it about that console? I want to find out myself. <laughs> you know, no, 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 <laughs> so I can see he had a 30th anniversary last year in America, and now it is in the UK. And, you know, so many people are really supportive on this situation, mm -hmm. celebrating this anniversary. He was thinking like, why, <laughs> he, why, you know, like he wanted to ask everybody, you know, why it has such an influence to you, you know, he wanted to ask that question, since, ever since he's going through all this 30th anniversary event. Hello. 今任天堂も含めてゲームの人たちがまあいろいろ難しい問題を抱えてきてるんですけれども、多分その回答の一つが今もファミコンはその多くの人が評価してくれてるっていうところにひょっとしたらあるんじゃないかなと思ってます。それ
元々っていうかあのデザインそのものは5回ぐらい変えてますね。そうだデザイン、いつもネセサリープロトタイプ、でデザインセルフビチェンジファイブタイムで、あのこれもですね、あの一番初め僕らが作ったものはやっぱりコスト中心で、それこそ箱なんですよ、ボックスなんです。うん First, it started out with just becoming just a box. Because we thought about the cost, so try to be as low as possible, so no fancy thing, just a box. The people who are in the TV game are not in the TV game, but they are not in the TV game. But then the people around us started debating about whether or not this console game. Device would be toys or something different. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. Sure, sure, sure. If you could rewind time and change a few things about the aesthetics of the design, what would you change and why? もしデザイン的に何か変えるっていうことも今できるであればタイマシンかなと思ってできるんだったらどこを変えたい。I'm really satisfied with that. Perfect. I thought it was a good job. I thought it was a good job. I think I did a really good job. Can I ask you, Nintendo had already been very successful in Japan, which is great. How important was it to you personally to be successful? In the rest of the world, did that matter a lot? Or were you just happy to be successful? Well, Nintendo, now, in Japan, is still very successful. But, in the world, how do you think it's successful? Now, in the world, how do you think it's successful? Now, in the world, how do you think it's successful? Now, in the world, how do you think it's successful? Now, in the world, how do you think it's successful? Now, in the world, how do you think it's successful? Now, in the world, how do you think 作る側からすれば、それとは無縁の問題が先ほどと同じであって、自分らが作ったものが世界中が評価してくれるかどうかっていう、まあ、いえば、孤独な戦いを貸し続けてるんだと思いますね。It's like from manager perspective, of course we want to sell to everybody in the world, but it's not about that. From an engineer's perspective, that's not the issues. Issue is not whether or not the hardware they develop will be loved or esteemed by everybody. More, that's more important things for them, and that's why they are kind of struggling, you know, like doing their best for this moment. まあ僕自身もそのまさか売れるとは思ってなかったですから。Well, when he developed the Famicom, he never thought it's going to be become such a such a popular hardware. So he never imagined. But after, I th I per he personally thought it was a great hardware, but he didn't think it's going to be such, you know, accepted in that manner. How important was it, the time that it was released? Because the American market had just so got Atari, Kaleika. <laughs> <laughs> How important was the timing? What do you think? Time. Uh, timing, when they were come by, start to some what is it? What kind of? Nintendo, the name is Nintendo. You understand the the meaning of name is to let. Let. That's exactly how he felt. What will be will be. Yeah. What a fantastic one. I'm nearly done. Can I have one? Yeah. Sure. Sure. At the start, you talked a lot about arcade mm. games. Did you were you did you make some arcade games before right. the oh, Famicom? Oh, I'm I'm really interested. What don't game? I know. I do do. 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 It's yes, just like yeah. games designed for the arcade. Yes, that's what I mean. Yes. American CBS It's called Electric Video Recording Games. Player. It's called Electric Video Playing Player. 
、えー okay. あのいわゆるビデオテープレコーダーが出る前にアメリカで開発されたんです。It's before the video,、uh, video, video player. Oh, I know. And the games had like films on. Films on. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm old enough to remember <laughs>、okay. those days, yeah. <laughs> So he made it as a, a horse racing game. Yeah. And there was a, I think it was a driving one as well. I don't know if that was.、Uh, right. Yeah. But he made a horse racing game. A horse racing game. And then he made 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 a horse racing game. Galaxian. So he made a variation of Galaxian type. Namco. Really? Yes, yes. yeah. yeah. So he, he didn't make a Namco's Galaxian、yeah. himself, but he made a variation. A ver- a variation. Of Did he work on radar scope? Really, yeah. Radar scope. So, 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 so the radar scope. 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 Mm. <laughs> right. How did that go down when you presented that, you know, <laughs> Famicom to Nintendo? Did they,、uh, right. did they take you up straight away? Was it Famicom? Did I make that kind of thing? But that's how you get the car to take it down. Ah, take it down. Take it down. This is very simple. 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 よくはいつもあの書かないと結構その仕事の話を、まあ、報告をしてたっていうか。そうだ。Kind of person who always talk about his work stuff with wife. Okay. okay. まあ結構話し合いなあの話し合いってなってくれてたんでね。So he she was willing to listen to what he wants to say.、Okay. でそれでその時にあの名前がなかなか決まらない。So he was kind of telling, him, telling her that the、like, name has not been decided, it takes a long time to come up with good names and stuff. And, well, you know, home computer and personal computer, it's a very good name. Because back then there was already a home computer, and also personal computer was coming into Japan. So, 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 the next one is the way that the way that the So, discussing that in the end, it's not home, it's not personal, it's right there, everybody, so it's got to be family, isn't it? So, and the wife said, Okay, it should be Famicom, you have to make it sure. <laughs> 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 and then, so he immediately took that idea to the company and then suggested it should be Famicom. And then President Yamauchi was like, What the heck is that? You know, he, he didn't like that idea. Yeah, right, he didn't like that idea. 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 So he explained that this is the right、uh, between、uh, personal computer and home com- computer, so it should be family computer, but Japanese would tend to shorten everything, so they'll probably call <laughs> it as a Famicom, so、right. I think that's the best name. <laughs> but President Yamano says, like, no, it's not a good idea to have the short n a m names at the beginning. You know, if people want to say it, then People didn't say it, and that, that would happen, but at the beginning it's got to be family computer.、Okay. So, the family computer. so that's how the name came out. <laughs> There we go. That's perfect. You've worked on lots of hardware over your time.、Mm. You've had many children, many、mm. bits of hardware.、まあ、Have you a favorite、mm. child? I also feel like a family. Yeah, <laughs> family <laughs> computer. The because the first? It's the first cartridge changing. I know, but I think that I took a car and I was like, I don't know if I was a computer. I was like, I don't know if I was a computer. I was like, I don't know if I was a computer. 
let's say. Because back then, nobody at the Nintendo was even imagining about the possibility of this uh, cartridge changeable uh, console. Yeah. Because uh, Game on the Watch was huge yeah. back then. Yeah. Consoles, particularly, I thought Atari. Was there anything that you thought I should do that? And anything you thought I'm going to do that very differently? Are you including about arcade game as well? If you think about it, it's more thinking of home consoles oh. like the like Atari, Atari. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe Coleco. Yeah. Yeah. Did you look and think, mm. yeah, or I was most interested in Coleco first. Right, yeah, okay. And so it's a Yes, he had an opportunity to take a look at the collectibles and Okay. And what did he think? Did he think this is a good idea? I'll do the same or this console is going to be different. So so I mean that again, do you think? Yes, and what's Oh, it's okay. Because Coleco is a toy company, so mm -hmm. Nintendo has been have a long relationship with Coleco. Even during a time that Nintendo was developing toys, not necessarily just video games. Okay, yeah. okay, I, I understand. Okay, let me ask you about Atari. Mm. Okay, yeah. I understand mm. that you personally. Mm demonstrated oh. the Nintendo Entertainment, the Famicom, mm. to Atari, okay? What are your, perhaps, memories <laughs> of that? <laughs> and, well, first, what are your memories of <laughs> that? Atari <laughs> 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 In fact, Atari was really interested in our hardware. Yes, yes. Okay. They're really surprised at the fact that we are the ones who made that hardware yeah. Yes, yeah. device. Yeah. Printable. 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 Oh, so, uh, so we have to show them the blueprint of PCB for the arcade to, 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 to make sure that we are the one who made it because they didn't believe it. Right, okay, yeah. uh, okay. I understand. The reason why that Nintendo doesn't make such a, uh, 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 amazing hardware was because they developed the arcade game in the first place. Right. That was a very important point there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because of this, they ended up researching a lot of devices, not only just like other console games, but also like arcade games, yeah. uh, yeah. devices and so forth. One of the applications we focus on Donkey Kong. Right, Donkey Kong was a own computer. So the Coleco asked Nintendo to, to give them a license on home computer. Yeah, 
So when uh, they license the uh, game for a home computer, uh, obviously Nintendo needs to evaluate what they've done with porting uh, content, content entertainment software. We also need to look at their specification on hardware in order to find out what they've done with the licensed product. So when you look at the, all the specification of this so-called home computer uh, developed by mm -hmm. Coleco was really similar to the arc specification of arcade version of Donkey Kong, maybe a little bit less, less uh, yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. inferior, but it was really similar. So that, that's why he was really surprised with it. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask now? Yes, yes. I want you. So this is an if, yes. if <laughs> Nintendo had made a deal with Atari. <laughs> And Atari had uh, distributed the, fam the Famicom in the right. West. Right. If, in Europe, if yes. what what does he think? Uh, would was that would that have been very different or the same? How does he think <laughs> things have come? Most Atari has the world's Nintendo Famicom was licensed and bought. So, how do you think it's going to be now? That's unimaginable now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now. But then, right. He's not in charge of making a decision on that. He's a, the expert in the engineering section, so he cannot imagine that in reality. あの、あたりが僕らに変態してどういう役割を演じてくれたかっていうと、社内でも僕らが作ってくるの the one of the important things that Atari did back then was that even inside of a company, you know, the engineers and other people are not uh, evaluating a device highly of the quality. Mm, okay. Mm. Back then, because there's a competition within the company, right? So, because, so I guess uh, as a company, they are not having uh, enough confidence in the hardware. But then Atari came in and said that they got great, that the hard, hardware got great graphics. So that changes mm -hmm. a lot of sentiment within the company. Of Nintendo. Yeah, so that's interesting. Okay, I, I wanted to ask about the games. Right. About okay. the games. Which games do you think made the most mm -hmm. of the Famicom hardware? <laughs> <laughs> どうしましょう。いや、いや、先生に、いや、先生に個人的にね。いや、個人的にはもう先ほど言ったドンキーコンですよね。うん、パーソナルドンキーコン。あの、今日もお話ししますけど、まさにドンキーコンです。To him, Donkey Kong is really important part of this family. Right. I could explain more in the lecture. Why? 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 That's when I give you a lecture, I'll explain to you why yeah, I okay. thought that was. Okay. Maybe you can supplement the have, have you Have you got a favorite game on the, on the Famicom? <laughs> a favorite <laughs> game that you have got? That's a question too. Oh, well, there I you go. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. The favorite <laughs> game is the most favorite game of Famicom. The most favorite game. What the hell? But my kids also play the game, you know, like becoming uh, like a voluntary testers. Oh, right. right, that's right. useful. Yeah, yeah. So, bringing like all the games uh, developed by the company and have them play them. The one they liked the most is Super Mario Bros. Uh, now, that's the games you've mentioned, all the ones were made by Miyamoto. Mm. So, I wondered, have you? Work closely mm. with Shigeru Miyamoto. What is your mm -hmm. opinion? Just hardware, I think, is the matter. So, no, I had it. I know Miyamoto's in 
ちゃんと一緒に仕事すごい多かったでしょその時にどう感じますかこれはちょっとまた難しい話ですけども、うん、<笑>あの宮本茂氏は正確に言えば僕と仕事をしたよりもよく言いかけさそうですね。Uh, most of the time, when、um, Shingeri Miyaro Moro was working at the company, he worked with Gunpei Yokoi. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's getting a lot of influence from Yokoi and Gunpei.、Yeah. Interesting. The first thing I w o u l o say So, the role that、uh, Shigeru Miyamoto played、uh, for the development of a NES、uh, is、mm-hmm. that you know, he showed him、uh, the specification necessary to create his own games.、Oh, If you were to make a game for the console,、yeah. how many colors you need, and all this stuff,、Amazing. he was asking to Miyamoto and he'll answer that, those questions.、Oh, that's so, awesome. so, that's the most things that I worked with. Well, yeah. After that, he <laughs> went back to、uh, work with Gunpei Yokoi and, and he was doing his own thing.、Okay. I'm going to ask a few technical、yeah. questions. All right. All right. When you started designing the Famicom,、mm-hmm. why、mm-hmm. did you choose a 6502 <laughs> processor? Yeah, yeah, There were、yeah. other ones available. <laughs> why? So many. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He probably explained that during the lecture.、Uh, he prepared for that too.、So、oh, okay. <laughs> but okay. But that's not the thing. He's a future tailor now. What about the chip size? It's the size of the chip was the important、right. factor、mm-hmm. yeah. when they created all the designs of h a r r i e Because、right. Rico, who approached them, already had a license of this、uh, semiconductor. <laughs> Chips, I see chips, that's why that was the reason. That was a prerequisite requirement. Mariko was a very good CPU. He was a very good CPU. He was a very good CPU. He was a very good CPU. So he only had this license of、uh, IC as an integrated IC chips as a part of this entire PCB. So,、yeah. I see. Can I ask, is there anything you want to put in the hardware?、Mm. But you couldn't because、oh. of cost or <laughs> not available. Anything you wanted to do, but. There's a lot of. <laughs> a lot, a lot, okay. Well, I just found that the graphic sprite of the c a s You want to add more like a number of sprites、oh, uh, for this,、uh, in, in this existing、uh, hardware. So, it's a very good thing. There's a limitation, you can only put eight dots.、Uh, eight pixels. 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 Like one character, like a five,、uh, eight, pic- nine pixels, nine, nine, eight, 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 e
をずっとやってたものですから。But he's been designing all the arcade games. まあ、ジョイスティック。で、ジョイスティックだけしたんですね。で、まあ、社内の、まあ、一緒にやってたメンバーも、まあ、全部で、その頃は十二、三人いたんですけど。でも、なんか、12、13、エンジニアが、working with him。十人ぐらいが、ジョイスティック。But about ten of them said, "Yeah, we have to put joystick." Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was this from the Game and Watch? The D-pad was it on there? Right. The only one person. Nintendo, ah, yeah, Yokoi Gunpei team, Game and Watch team. Yeah, Yokoi Gunpei 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 team
、まあ、東洋のなんかようわからん小さな日本から来たソフトウェアだけどもその子どもたちが喜ぶということについてすごく評価したんじゃないかなと思います。So、to it didn't matter whether this software come from like overseas in the Far East. It just it's great. You know, kids loved it and the parents loved it because kids loved it. だからそれはあの僕今日初めて見せてもらったんですけどまさにこれでしょうねじゃあそうですそうですそうです一緒にこれ自分のそう、so yeah. I thought this is really important because that's what everybody loved で今まあ僕も大学でいろいろ講義をしながら I am teaching at the school right now at the Ritsumeka University in Kyoto つまりあのなぜ日本人がこのジャンプという言葉は日本語にはないんですね。Because in Japan, <笑> jump is literally taking the words out from English. We call it jump as well. There's no. So it shows that. Yeah. What? それを遊びの中で考えてみると一番基本ですね。So this is a basic element of play. 小さいことも必ずジャンプします。Because any kids in the world will jump anyway.、Yeah. そこはあのビデオゲームが捉えることができたから。世界中がまあ子供時代子供の時のそういう持って生まれたものがねあったかなと思ったんです。Because kids always jump and because we are able to integrate this important the play element into video game, you know the kids were able to excited about the playing. That was a really heartwarming. I just want final. Yes. 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 What does a Famicom symbolize to you personally? What does it mean? Personally, Famicom is a dream. What does it mean? Famicom is a dream. What does it mean? It's a device which changed my life. Make me more creative. 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 I mean, after all these years, I still come here, you know,、mm-hmm. talking about them, and that's、mm-hmm. crazy itself. Right. Well, it changed, changed our lives as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So kind of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mayan. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Sign or something? Kanji? Kanji? Yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> Matt, can I have a photo? Can I have a, oh, yeah, oh, sorry, you've got. Yeah. If this is possible. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, problem, no problem. No problem. Really no problem. Really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, may I have a photo? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you got your own photo. Yeah, I like it. Could you mind if I have a photo? Me? No. No. I love that thing. I love that thing. Yeah, wherever. It'll be cherished. Thank you so much. Do you want ours? Yeah.